Today I want to compare the Art Canvas Factory paint with some other paint. So in this slide I am comparing different prices obtained from the internet. Here are the prices if you buy sets or you can buy them individually as well. So when you look at the Art Canvas Factory's prices in comparison to ours, they're rather they're similar if you buy small quantities, but if you need to do a mural, then the Art Canvas Factory's paint is cheaper. So then the medium priced paint, or the Dollaroni System 3, that's just the, the normal System 3, you also get the System 3 Fluid, which is much more expensive. So the, the moderately priced is the System 3 Amsterdam, and the Kryler paint from Dollaroni. And then the System 3 Fluid and the Golden paint are extremely expensive. So the first three paints that we have here are heavy bodied and the System 3 Liquid paint is a paint with a very low viscosity and the Amsterdam paint has got a medium viscosity. So in comparison to, to these paints, the Art Canvas Factory paints Viscosity is very similar to the System 3 liquid viscosity. You can see after removing the paint from the tube or the tabs, the heavy bodied paint retain their shape as you place it on the paper, where the low viscosity paints lose that shape and it just becomes a smooth bottle. So this is a picture where it's been scraped with a palette knife and you can see that the heavy bodied paints retain their shape and the low viscosity paint lose that scrapes made by the palette knife. And one can see also the Amsterdam paint retains it partially. So from this picture one can see that the Kryler and the Aris paints are heavy bodied paints with a high viscosity the Amsterdam paint has got a medium viscosity and the Art Canvas Factory and the System 3 liquid has got a low viscosity. Then after drying you can still see that the heavy bodied paints retain their shape where the low viscosity paints become smoother. So then I also want to compare the different colours. You can see the cadmium yellow from Kryler and the Iris Cadmium Yellow and the System 3 Cadmium Yellow has got a warm undertone so it's biased towards red and the Kryler Lemon Yellow is cool and it's got a biased to green where the Art Canvas Factory Arzo Yellow and the Amsterdam Primary Yellow appears very neutral to me it doesn't have a, a green or a red biased so it doesn't have a cool or a home bias is very neutral so one can really say it's a primary yellow. The Kryler paint is very heavy bodied if you play with it with a spatula you can see it retains its form. The Iris paint is a bit softer but it still retains its form so it's still heavy bodied. Now the Art Canvas Factory's paint's viscosity is very low and then we have System 3 Fluid and it's very similar to the Art Canvas Factory paints viscosity. So the Art Canvas Factory's paints viscosity and the System 3 viscosity is very similar. And then we have the Amsterdam paint and that's also got a lower viscosity. So the viscosity of the Art Canvas Factory's paint is very low. So the Kryler and Iris is really heavy bodied the Art Canvas Factory and the System 3 Fluid has got a low viscosity. It will be good for pouring type of art. It will not retain your brush marks much. It's, you can see if I scratch it, 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 it loses that again. We, it's very different where you, with the Kryler, you can see when you, it retains your marks that you make with, with your spatula. Uh, the paint is becoming dry now, so then it retains it a bit better. But I want to show you now what one can do to increase the viscosity of a paint. So I'm going to use the thick gloss gel medium from Zealand. This medium is really very heavy bodied. So let's mix it. It mixes very well and you can see now 
there you have now all kind of this factory paint with a high viscosity so you can really manipulate your paint as you wish so you can now see it really retains the brush stroke so if you want a smooth application you just use it as is and if you want to show the brush strokes very well then you just mix it with some heavy body gloss medium so I can really manipulate the viscosity of one's paint. So yeah, I'm showing the pouring medium. So if you want to do pouring art with Alcavins Factory's paint, it doesn't have a low enough viscosity. So then one can add this acrylic pouring medium. And it's really very, very low viscosity. So to use water doesn't really work for pouring art. It makes the paint not sticking to your surface and then the pour becomes like a very thin pour so if you want to do pouring art you I really recommend using pouring medium you can see now the old canvas factory's paint has got a very very low viscosity so yes paint's viscosity doesn't really matter because you can manipulate it in either way you can make it thicker heavy bodied by mixing it with the gloss gel medium or you can make it thinner by mixing it with a pouring medium I can see from this mixing with the medium that the Old Canvas Factory's paint has enough pigment. So it doesn't change the color dramatically. It's still got a nice, intense, bright yellow color. So if you want to go even wilder with impasto work, then you can use modeling paste. Let's try that. So it's got a similar consistency to the thick gloss gel medium. It's only it contains pigment in this modeling paste so it will change the color of your paint when you mix it so yeah I've just got just pure art canvas factory paint and here I've got now the white modeling paste so you can see it's gonna make the yellow a bit white a bit lighter but that, that's normal that, that happens to all, all types of paint but you can see the art canvas factory's paint has got a high pigment because it it's still got a very strong intense yellow color even after mixing it with this white modeling paste and what's now nice you can also now do impasto work with this I think with a white modeling paste it feels even thicker than with a thick gloss gel medium but both will be good for impasto work I think the white modeling paste it's got a larger influence on your pigment color in intensity you can see it the uh, yellow over here is lighter than the yellow over here but it, it still it still um, has an intense yellow color so the pigment quantity of the old cavern factory is good